Good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another exciting brook trout fishing video. Uh, we're doing some fly fishing, but I've got my spinning rod and the reason is because I don't think I could be able to fish this pond right here with my fly rod because there are so many trees and branches. There's literally, it's impossible to cast. So I got my spinning rod, indicator, balanced leech, and we're gonna see if we can get it done. Probably gonna fish a couple other little ponds too. Stay tuned. All right, so based on the looks of this pond, you're probably like, there's no way there's fish in here. The entire surface is covered in moss, but there are fish here and you can catch them. But the trick is you got a heavier fly or a jig, something heavy enough to penetrate the surface of this moss, and then just drop it down next to these logs. And usually there's gonna be some fish waiting. Just gonna drop our fly down, let it sink, and then just kind of jig it a little bit and wait for that bite. All right, pond number one was a bust. I know there's fish in there, but it's just so hard to fish it because of all that moss. I'm not gonna waste any more time there. We're gonna head to a different spot. Our spot number two this little pond right here should be pretty good I've caught fish here before they don't get too big but you can catch a lot of them so let's give it a try all right still just using that balanced leech and we're gonna be doing the same method here just dipping it in between this moss and hopefully there's a fish waiting there willing to bite just dip it right there oh there's one there's one Got him, fish on, fish on. First drop down, lift him over this grass, in the net, baby. Check that out. That didn't take too long, about 10 seconds. Not a big fish, but it's a fish, right from this moss. Yep, beautiful fish. Check it out. That is a gorgeous fish. Look at those blue halos and red dots. So cool. We'll let this guy go. We'll just let him go right in this little stream and let him swim up there. See you later, buddy. There he goes, right up there. That is a good sign. First spot I dropped down into, there was a fish waiting. That might have been the only one sitting there. There's a fish. There's a fish cruising right there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, baby, I think we can get these guys. Watch this. There's like three, there's four. Dude, there's a bunch right there. Oh, they're going over to it. They're going over to it. Oh, they turned on it, what the heck? They don't want my leech. They can see it, but they just don't want it. All right, got this little brown nymph with some blue and green in the tail. Looks pretty good. Let's see if they want this. Oh, 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 got him. He came clear up from the bottom and crushed it, dude. As soon as he spotted it, he just came in hot. And that's the biggest one I could see down there too. Oh, come on. And in the net. There we go, dude. <laughs> he came up from the bottom. It was right on the edge of this moss line. And as soon as he spotted it, he came up from the very bottom as fast as he could swim and crush it. That is one of the biggest ones I could see down there. Nice, Brookie. We'll just give him a little toss back. There he goes. Can't really get down there too far without falling in. Oh, there he is. I can see him down there. He's just chilling. All right, there's like a bunch more down there, so Let's see if we can get another one of them. Oh, there's one cruising over to it. He's going over to it. Oh, got him. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go, number three, heck yeah. Another small one, not too big. I'll take it though, really skinny. These fish are not super fat. I don't think there's a lot of food to go around in here. All right, we'll just let them go in this moss. See you later. I bet there's a lot just hiding under all this moss, but like I said, it's just so difficult to fish. Oh, 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 got him, got him. 
One just came out from under the moss. <laughs> I drifted it right along that edge and this guy came out for it. Another one, dude. This is awesome. Now we're catching fish. This feels good. There he is. My hand's still wet from the last one. There we go. This is so much fun. Quick release right through the grass. All right, let's get right back in there. We're already at four fish and we've been here 10 minutes. Do that again. I'm gonna try to bring it right up to the moss line and see if they'll just come out and swipe at it. Because I guarantee there's probably a hundred fish just right out here in front of me. Just hiding. Oh, yep, there he is. Another one, same spot. Dude, they're stacked right here. They are stacked and they are hungry. Golly. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Doesn't matter how many of these fish you catch, every single time you see one come out and eat your fly, it gives you that same excitement. Oh, there he is. He came out from that bush over there. It's so cool watching him come out for it. I like how these fish are small enough I can just boat flip them in my net. Now this is probably one of the healthier looking fish. He's still small, but He's not like super skinny, you know? Here we go. I don't even know what number this is. We're just gonna give him a nice little toss back. There he goes. If I could get down there closer to release him, I would, but this is literally just a straight drop off and there's thorn bushes all around me, so. Sure hope there's no snakes hiding in this grass. I mean, obviously there are. I just hope I don't step on one. Holy cow, this is some tall grass. I could be stepping into a five foot hole, not even know it. Ooh, definitely getting some deeper water here. Whew. Whew. Oh yeah, we're getting deep. Out there, not stepping there. Whew. There we go. There we go. Well, there's a fish sitting right there. Gotta walk out as far as I can without sinking too far. The wind's blowing my indicator around. I can't keep it in one spot. Now this is where a fly route, oh, there he is, got him. Got him, didn't even see him take it. There we go. Wonder if this was the same one I saw. Nothing better than that right there. Brook trout fishing in the moss. Oh, no. Oh, did he just get away? Hold on. Yep, there he goes. He fell right out of my hand, right back in the water. Every single time you catch a fish though, you got tons of moss and weeds and grass that you gotta get off your line. It's kind of the price you have to pay for fishing and stuff like this. It can be really rewarding, but it's gonna mess your gear up. Still catching fish on this fly. To be honest, it doesn't look very good anymore. It's kind of getting torn up. It doesn't really look like a living insect, but I'm gonna tie that leech back on so I can get a little bit more casting weight. That's a good cast, yep. I knew it. <laughs> that was a good cast right on that moss line, instantly. That's a tiny guy, very tiny fish. We'll just get him off quick. Settle down, settle down, settle down. There we go. He came right out from that giant, I don't even know what those plants are, some kind of aquatic weed. All right, little guy, give him a little toss. There he goes, he just shot off. Try to walk out to that rock. This might be kind of sketchy. That water is chilly. 
Oh, all right. There we go. All right, we better catch a fish right here. I think we will. I don't see any, but I guarantee they're right there, just out of sight. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, dang it, that was one of the bigger ones. I probably would have kept that guy. Didn't let him eat it long enough, I don't know. He grabbed it, turned back like he was gonna go back in the moss, and that's when I set the hook, but I guess he just didn't have it. Oh, one's coming out, he's coming out, he's looking at it. Oh, he got spooked. What the heck? Oh, right there, right there. Okay, what is going on? Yeah, I'm gonna switch flies. I've had three fish come out and look at it or just barely bite it. Oh, that's a good cast. That's a good cast right there. It's right, oh, yep, there he is. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's that first big one that came out for it. Missed him again, what the heck? That was a great cast, though. Probably he's not gonna come out for it again. Got him. No! Ah, I watched that guy. That was a pretty weak hook set, I will say. Dang it. Got him. Got him. There we go. Flip him in our net, yes, dude. Yes, that is lunch for us. That is gonna be lunch. Man, I've, I've been spending the past 20 minutes just dipping my leech. No, no! What was that? He just fell through that little hole in my net. Are you serious, dude? There's a little hole right there. I'm surprised he, he could even fit through that. Are you serious? What? Dude, that sucks. Of course, it's the one that I wanna keep. That's how it goes. But yeah, I've been spending the past like 15 minutes just dipping my leech in all this moss. And I've had two come out for it. Oh, there was a hit. Two of them came out. I need one big enough to keep. I don't think those ones are cooking size. Got him. Got him. Mm, I don't know. Is this one cooking size? It's pretty close. He is kind of small, honestly. Then again, there's not a whole lot of fish in here bigger than this. There are, but I'm gonna keep him because I don't know how many more I'm gonna catch. And this isn't a horrible size fish. Like, we'll get some meat off of him. But yeah, just to ensure that we have something to cook, we're gonna keep this guy. All right. All right, we are gonna clean this fish. I did try for a few more minutes to get another one, but they have wised up to me. And I could see them, but they just wouldn't bite, so that's all right. We've got this guy. We're gonna go cook him up. I'm getting hungry. It's probably like three o'clock. And then we're gonna go ahead and skin him for our fish and rice. Like I said, this isn't a big fish, but it's gonna be a good little lunch, a little midday lunch. Now we're probably gonna fish a little bit more later. Look at that pink meat. That's not even pink, that's like red. This is gonna be delicious. All right, there we go. It's not a lot of fish, but it's gonna be good. We're gonna cook it with some rice too. So that'll fill us up. All right guys, we're about to cook our fish. I found a nice little spot behind this boulder it's kind of blocking out some of the wind so hopefully our flame won't get blown out since I don't have a wind guard for that stove. I also forgot a plate to cover our fish uh, which isn't a super big deal it just kind of helps steam it and cook it faster but I think we'll be all right. But I got some Ben's Original rice pilaf with orzo pasta but we haven't tried that kind yet so then we're gonna season it up with some Timber Ridge Rubs fish and fowl and then some Johnny's seasoning salt. We're gonna get a little butter, melted butter. It's been pretty warm today. 
it was frozen this morning. I'll just put a little bit of water in there. That'll be good. All right, now we'll just go ahead and separate this rice because it's all stuck together. And since this isn't a very big fish, I probably am only going to use like half the bag, two thirds maybe. Oh, this is going to be good. This is the good rice, I can tell. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more water in there because I just can tell it's going to burn without it. All right. And we got our little brook trout. I will set them right in the middle. And we'll take some of our Timber Ridge rubs. This is made by a subscriber. Link will be in the description. It's pretty good stuff, I will say. But it doesn't have any salt, so we're gonna need to add a little bit of salt. Got some Johnny's seasoning salt, which was sent to me by a subscriber. And then I don't think that was enough butter, so we're gonna put a little bit more. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan or anything. And there we go. This is gonna be good. Like I said, I don't have a plate or anything to cover it, so it's not gonna cook quite as fast. We're gonna have to give it a flip but that looks good. I'm excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually pretty smoky out here. There's a fire somewhere, I have no idea where, but since it's been really windy, it's all blown over here. I mean, it doesn't look too bad on the GoPro, but there is quite a thick haze out there. I don't mind it. Ain't a big deal to me. That fish is cooking up nicely on that side. We are looking good. The rice isn't sticking to the pan. <laughs> really warm arrowhead water. That is not refreshing. I think we're gonna go ahead and flip this fish. It is definitely cooked on that side. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm. And then a few minutes on that other side and we should be golden. All right, I think it's done. If we can peel the skeleton out, that means it's done. Mm, yeah. Still might be a little raw there in the center, but it's about as good as I was expecting, especially with that wind kind of blowing our flame around. Wasn't a very big fish to start out with, so that's not a bad little meal right there. Go ahead and turn that stove off. Grab a bite of fish, a little bit of rice peel off. Ooh, the rice is good. Mmm, fish is good too. Really orange meat. Mmm, that is some good stuff right there. I've had people in the past tell me that they think that I don't eat all the fish because I cut the camera before I finish it. So I guess I'll just show you guys uh, me eating this entire fish. Mmm. Mm. There we go. All gone. Left a little bit of the rice. Usually I make too much, but fish was good. I do wish I kept another one. That's all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Caught lots of fish, no big ones, but we caught a lot of them. And sometimes it's more fun to just catch a bunch of fish. I'm happy with it. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Lots more videos to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one.